So as you drive forward, there's a floor loop in the ground that will detect the car and open the front door. This is all done automatically. Then he would drive into the vacuuming area. There's two stations inside. If you drive in and the bay is empty, you're gonna drive to the furthest vacuum station. You lift your vacuum claw, you'd be able to detail your car from this position. After you're done vacuuming the car, always return it to the holder. Thus, this, when this is making contact with this rubber plate, it takes this vacuum offline. You have a mat holder here for doing mats of the, in the cars. You have a bug prep here for doing rims, for brakes, bugs on the fronts of the cars, windshields, mirrors, etc. You also have a prep gun, high pressure prep gun that's got soap in it. These work automatically. Once the trigger is pulled, they'll shut off automatically. These are for doing rims, getting bugs off the front of the cars, the windshields, uh, some minor detailing before you go through the wash. Each one has a holder. Drop them in the holder and you're done. So now he's going to drive up. There's a floor loop in the ground right before the pre-soak arch that will start the wash. So he's going to approach slow, wait for the wash to trigger. And from here on, he's going to drive in slow allowing the brushes to clean the front and the sides and the backs of, the, of his vehicle. Don't want to go too fast because then the brushes will bounce and you don't want to go too slow because this is a timed walk. There's another floor loop in the ground that'll turn on this, drying, this rinse bar with drying agent in it and the spot free arch. It'll also start the dryers and open the exit door. There's a countdown timer outside that can be, uh, be used just as a reference of how long they can go through the dryer.